Hello Vikings. Today we are going to talk to you about a school that got really creative in motivating their students and or children. The parents did this by working 37 hours over the weekend to paint the bathroom stall doors. They wrote positive messages such as your mistakes do not define you, kindness changes everything, and choose joy. The students had no idea that the parents were writing these the messages so that made these creative messages even more amazing have an amazing rest of your day vikings and remember always choose to be kind who else other than me likes texting well according to time for kids 47 of the 50 states in the u.s have made a law that it's illegal to text and drive but in 2013 scientists recorded at least 1500 people in the u.s that ended up in the hospitals with injuries because they were walking across the streets with mobile devices. Recently in Honolulu, Hawaii, they passed a law saying that it is now illegal to text or even look down at a, at a device while crossing the street. They were the first state in the U.S. to pass that law. Online, they had a poll asking if you think the law was a good idea, and a majority of the people voting said yes. So I'm making a prediction that pretty soon you might not be able to look down at your phone while you're crossing the street. See you next time. According to Dogo News, a robot named Fabio was just fired from a Scottish grocery store. Fabio was created by Japan's SoftBank and was part of an experiment conducted by Harriet Watt University for BBC Six Robots and Us, which investigates the combination of man and machine's existence. At the grocery, Fabio's job was to welcome customers. The robot could give hugs and high fives and answer questions. However, Fabio's answers to these questions were very vague and not helpful. Therefore, not willing to give up the Android, the store manager put Fabio in charge of giving sausage samples. However, when humans gave samples to 15 people in 20 minutes, Fabio gave samples to only two because customers were scared of the knife-wielding robot. Therefore, Fabio was packed up and shipped away. When this happened, an employee actually cried. Not because they had developed an emotional connection to the robot, but because Fabio answered all of the customer's mundane questions, even if he didn't do the best job. Hi guys, we're back with even more jokes and puns with Nevin. Hi guys. Hey Nevin, how do you put baby aliens to sleep? How? You rock it. Oh, I have a space joke. What's the worst part about space parties? What? You have to plan it. How do you make antifreeze? A uh, how? You steal our blanket. What does a house wear? I don't know. What does a house wear? A dress. Why couldn't the bike stand on its own? Why? Because it was too tired. <sighs> when it, when's the best time to go to the dentist? When? Tooth hurdy. <laughs> What's the worst thing about ancient orders? What? They tend to babble on. China's massive new library looks like it came straight out of the works of a science fiction movie. The newly opened Tingjin Binghai Library, situated in the Binghai Cultural Center, covers an enormous 362,744 square feet of space and consists of five floors. The library itself has about 1.2 million books available for checkout, and the Epic Library also features an enormous spherical auditorium in the center. A Dutch company named MVRDV designed and built it, but it looks but it looks like this isn't the first futuristic building they've made. According to the Next Shark, they also designed a hotel that can tailor to the specific needs of its occupants. We are going to tell you something totally stupid. In Utah, a school has made it a rule that girls are not allowed to say no if boys ask them to a dance. This will send the message to the girls that we have to say yes, and it sends a message to the boys that us girls are not capable of saying no. The school was trying to promote kindness so that no one is excluded. I think they promoted it in the wrong way. Random scenario of the situation. If a person asks you to a dance, and then there's another person who's desperate to ask you, you have to say yes to both. Like, how does that work? I don't understand how the heck that works, but whatever, right? The other thing I don't understand is that they never mentioned anything about girls asking boys. 
So if the boys ask girls, they need to say yes. But if the girls ask boys, it's their decision. But then again, they didn't mention it. So maybe it was just implied. I have no idea how is how this is fair. It just doesn't make any sense. The rules also spreading through the Weber School District. Again, we, we don't, don't understand. understand. Hey, Lucy. You know how here in Fort Collins, schools provide meals and services to those in our community who may be in need? Yeah, I heard about that. Like breakfast, lunch, and other school-related activities that may be costly, right? Right. Well, down in the more southern states, some of the schools don't charge anything for anyone to get lunch. Wow. This is because in these states, most people are homeless or in need. So Tennessee has opened a comfort closet. This comfort closet provides students in need with hygiene necessities, which includes shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, clothes, and much more. The closet is located in an old locker room where students can discreetly take items without feeling embarrassed. The foundation of the product was started by Vanessa Bateman and Heather Malik, two kindergarten teachers at Noida Elementary School. Other teachers have pitched in to get the project up and running. It is funded by donations from parents and businesses. Because of this, more kids are getting the help that they need without it affecting their education. Today we're going to be talking about Safe to Tell with Officer Simon. So, what is Safe to Tell? Well, thanks for having me. Safe to Tell is a state-sponsored system or program that's available to students, community members, uh, including your parents, to make reports of things that they see that might be, or hear, that might be suspicious or concerning. And how does Safe to Tell work? You can report something suspicious or concerning uh, three ways. The first is through the website, which is safe to tellco.org. That's safe, the number two, tellco.org. And the 1 800 number, 877 542 7233, or the mobile apps, which are available for both Android and Apple devices. And why should you report to Safe to Tell? Well, Safe to Tell is an anonymous system for concerns, including things that might be um, safety concerns to the school, or it might be between students, such as bullying, harassment, um, really anything that could be related to safety or possibly crim criminal with regards to students in the school can be reported. And finally, what happens to the information you report? That's a great question. So once that information is reported, it's forwarded uh, through the system and track through the system to uh, me as well as some of the administrators at each of the schools. That information then um, starts an investigation in which we might uh, try to get more information by talking to witnesses or other people and once we are uh, satisfied with the conclusion of the inv investigation and have taken any action that is documented and tracked through the system. Okay, thank you for helping us with Safe to Tell. Uh, the number is 1-877-542-7233. Uh, uh, and safe to tell co.org and also the mobile app. According to CNN News, West Virginia legislators on Monday met to see if they had enough money to talk with the teachers about their pay demands and to discontinue the strike. This strike has lasted for eight days now. The legislators met for a conference at 4 p.m. to talk about the plan to end the strike. Hopefully the teachers and the legislators come to an agreement they both want. Hello, today I'm here to tell you about a woman named Fiola Desmond who was recently put on the Canadian $10 bill. I quote Teaching Kids News. Viola Desmond was thrown in jail in Nova Scotia in 1946 because in a movie theater, she wanted to sit downstairs where the white people were allowed to sit. She didn't want to sit up in the balcony where the black people had to sit. The police held her in jail overnight. She is a role model for many people, including African Canadian adults and kids. Viola is the first African American woman to be featured on a paper money in Canada. Ms. Desmond's sister was one of the first people to receive one of these bills. Vikings and Vikings Queens, as you may recall, our Vikings Queen basketball players are the 2018 district champions. Yes, they defeated the Preston Pumas at Rocky Mountain High School. 
We're here in the KLIB studio with some very talented players. Let's ask these athletes some questions. Oh, we're here with Julia Herndon, Reese Horn, Sofia Leva, and Zayla Coronado. So, ladies, how does it feel to be the district champions? Um, to be the district champions, it actually feels really good. We've been waiting for this since last year, so I'm actually really proud of everyone on the basketball team. And yeah. Yeah, it was a really cool experience for us to be able to do it. And coming back from, we lost to Preston last year in the finals, and it was really cool to be able to come back and beat them. Okay, who or what was instrumental in achieving such memorable success? Um, probably the, the people that helped us a lot was our coaches, Callie and Chris. And they helped us a lot with our plays, getting better, getting stronger, and our connection was way better. And probably just our connection with being friends mm -hmm. was really good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And finally, what will each of you remember most in terms of skills and abilities for your future basketball? Um, in terms of skills and abilities for our future, our future in basketball, um, I think we just we're all good players. So I think we just have to be confident in our abilities and just keep working hard and hustling on the court. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you. And go sports. Go, go sports. sports. <laughs> Three, two, one. You better not cheat, Henry. Okay. No looking. One, go. What are we? Okay. One, one, this go. is like the ultimate challenge okay. because go. it's a. It's just wait, drink. wait, are we drinking? Yes. Yeah. Ah! Root beer, root beer, root beer. That's definitely root beer. Root beer. Gosh dang it! I thought I didn't know we were already going. He That's says, not fair. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> and then you taste. No, it. I thought that meant like the camera. Three, two, one, go. It's root beer, and you got it. Give me yours. I'm gonna drink yours. No, it's gone. You drink it already. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You know you cannot have mine. No, oh, man. Three, two, one. Strawberry. Um. Fanta. That's Fanta. Oh. Fanta. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get this one. Three, I have to. Two, one. Coke. Oh man, that's Coke. Coke yeah, Coke. that's plain old Pepsi? Coke. Pepsi? Oh no, Coke. Does it matter? Pepsi. That's Pepsi. That's Pepsi. That is Pepsi. Mm. Mm hmm. Diet Pepsi. Oh. <laughs> it's either Diet mm. Pepsi or mm. Diet no, Coke. No, it's Pepsi. Diet Coke that's or Diet Pepsi. Pepsi all the way. No, that's Pepsi. That's Diet. Because I don't like Pepsi. That's I either Diet Coke. Pepsi or Diet Coke. No, there. You can't drink it yet. I'm not Three, drinking it. Two, one. Lemon lime? Oh, no. what is that? Mm. That's Pepsi, mm. I think. No. I think that's mm -mm. Diet Pepsi. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh. Is that like cherry Pepsi, oh, cherry Coke? Dang it! Cherry Pepsi. Oh, oh. Cherry Pepsi or cherry Coke. No. Cherry, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. There's something else. That's like cherry soda pop, I think. I, think I just like I heard cherry, that little check mark go. It's like cherry Ding. lime? Oh, <laughs> you're funny. Can I have more? Mm. You tell me when. Three, two, one. Strawberry. Grape. Oh, grape. No. That is oh. grape soda, my friends. Mm. Crud, crud, crud. You can tell I don't drink pop. Where, when are you drinking pop? We don't have pop at the house. Man, that is sugary. When do you drink pop? How do you know all these flavors? Because I've eaten a grape before. Oh, you're going to get it, pal. Three, two, one. Oh, crap. Lemon lime. Lemon lime. Mm. Lemon lime. Sprite. A Sprite. Oh, which is lemon lime? Hey, Sprite. What the? Dang I, I didn't know that was hanging down right there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Crud. Sprite. That is Sprite. Pretty good at this. Or you tell you just Three, two. One. Strawberry. Mm. Strawberry. That's, oh, that's, that's strawberry. terrible. Um, strawberry. I think that's strawberry. Um, nope. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Cream oh, soda. No. Cream soda? Oh! Cream soda! That's cream soda! <laughs> no! That took me a minute. How did I go from strawberry to cream soda? No! <laughs> oh. 
Yes. That's, that's cream soda. Yes. That's yes. cream soda. Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. how I didn't think of that. I, I knew it's that. Okay. The it's flavor okay. was kind of there, yeah. and I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. Good job, mom. Mm hmm. Thank you, Henry. Where's your hand? <laughs> okay. Yeah, cream soda. Yeah, that's definitely cream soda. <laughs> Three, two, one. Sprite. That one's Sprite. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, I think I'm pretty sure that one's Sprite. That's either. That's Sprite. No. Or Mountain Dew. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. oh. <coughs> oh my gosh. Mountain Dew. That's Mountain Dew. That's Mountain Dew. Wait, how many are we at right now? <laughs> they can't tell you that. They it's can't tell me how no. many we've tasted. Three, two, one. Coke. Fanta. Wait, hold Coke. on. That's hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Fanta. That's Fanta. Mm -mm. That's Coke. Or Pepsi. Crud! That's Fanta, yo. What? That has to be Fanta. I'm going with Pepsi. It just has to be. That's Fanta. Oh, dang it, dang it! Oh no! What the heck? No! No! Oh! I cannot believe it! You didn't have to take off your blindfold. You called that Fanta! <laughs> <laughs> he thought that was Fanta! <laughs> well, I'm sure everyone what it is. It's good! Oh, oh. <laughs> Darn it, I should have trusted my instinct, Fanta! <laughs> We need like um. We need to clean our palate. Like we need like oh, ginger. Yeah. Two, right? one. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mount and Dew. Dang it! Oh, those look so good. In the winter, he did not want the root beer, the soda, so he just gets <sighs> them up in. No! 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 Oh yeah! Those are my favorite. Ow. Just one. Gluten free Udi's deliciousness. <laughs> I get this tiny, itty bitty little piece. Mine. Mm, that was fun. Cheers. That was fun. Thank you guys. That was a lot Ow. of fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. According to DailyMail.com, a new phase in pop culture is a type of glitter called holographic glitter that changes to all colors of the rainbow when you put in when you put it in light. Apparently, even coffee isn't safe from its rain. A coffee chain called Coffee by Debella in Mumbai, India is serving edible gold and diamond sprinkled cappuccinos. But what's weird about these cappuccinos is that supposedly there is actually no edible holographic glitter. Holographic glitter isn't toxic, but that doesn't mean it is edible. How gross. Hello. Welcome back to Heroes of the Hall. Today we have a new hero. Her name is... Aya L. Henry. We will bring you in in just a second, but first we would like to remind you to pe keep <laughs> nominating people for Heroes of the Halls. I know that you guys have seen our rocking t-shirts. And totally love them. <laughs> um, so continue to nominate people in order to, to see more of these t-shirts around the hall. Hello, Aya. Thank you for joining us on the KLIB episode today. We are just going to ask you a few questions and you answer as best as you can. Okay, the first question is, do you do any volunteer work in the city or around your neighborhood? Uh, I babysit my neighbors. Cool, cool. What's your favorite thing about Lesher? The teachers and my friends. Cool. Why is this your favorite part? They are really nice to me. Cool. So the next question is, do you, what do you believe is the biggest change from elementary school to middle school? Lockers and passing periods. Okay. Do you do any out-of-school activities? Ice skating and archery. Cool. What do you do for fun? Draw. Sweet. All right. The next two are kind of silly, as always. But what is your favorite color, and what is your favorite superhero? My favorite color is purple, and I don't have a favorite superhero. Okay. Um, here is your Hero of the Hall t-shirt, as modeled in the intro. Um, this is for you, and I hope to see you wearing it around the school. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Um, It was great getting to know our new superhero. <laughs> Hey guys, 2018 just started and one of my favorite things to do is watch movies. So here's new movies coming out in 2018. 
Number one, Solo, another Star Wars sequel focusing on Han Solo's childhood. Number two, Incredibles 2, which pl takes place where the first one left off. Number three, A Wrinkle in Time, a Disney movie based on the book based on the book by Madeline Engel. Number four, Mary Poppins Returns, starring Emily Blunt and coming out next Christmas. Number five, Re Ralph Breaks the Internet. This Disney sequel takes place when the arcade is plugged into a Wi-Fi router. Number six, finally, Hotel Transylvania 3. When the Count needs a break, f him and the other characters go on a monster cruise. See you next time. The K-pop group known as BTS consists of the members Jungkook, V, Suga Jimin, Jin, Rap Monster, and J-Hope. They have appeared at the M A M AMA and BMA. Last time we did a segment on segment on their accomplishments. So now we would like to know if you guys are interested in hearing more about the group before we continue talking about them and other K-pop groups. So please vote on this small survey. We would like to see how popular this genre of music and let us know if you would care to hear more about K-pop, more bands such as GOT7, TWICE, Red Velvet, and EXO. If so, go vote and we'll be showing you the results in the next episode. The link is tinyurl.com slash lesser K-pop. Please go vote. According to Dogo News, on January 4th, the Great Internet Mersenne Prime Search, or GIMPS, announced that the largest prime number ever was discovered by Jonathan Pace. A prime number is a number which can only be divided by itself and one. And because prime numbers don't follow a particular pattern, it is difficult to discover new ones. However, scientist Marine Mersin, who is alive in the 17th century, came up with an algorithm to find new prime numbers. The equation is this, two to the nth power minus one. N in this situation is an already existing prime number. When Pace discovered the new number, which was nicknamed M77232917 because it is 2 to the 77 millionth, 232,000th, and 917th minus 1, it took him 6 days of solid computing. The number breaks the former record by 1 million digits, with over 23 million figures, and takes up 9,000 pages. It would fill a bookshelf and stretch for 73 miles.
Thomas Deacons, you're a part of Lesher Adventure Club. And they went on spring break to Belize, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. How was your adventure? Uh, you know, Miss Jennings, this trip was a dream come true. Uh, we spotted lots of wild animals in Belize, including a crocodile and uh, really loud howler monkeys. Um, we learned about ancient Mayan temples, and then we got to climb to the top for some incredible views. Um, we learned jungle survival skills, like how to build traps and, and how to open up a coconut. Um, and then we got to zoom through the rainforest on zip lines, and wow. we got to go on tubes through these ancient Mayan caves. It was really cool. Um, then I think one of the most special trip, um, parts of the trip was that we got to go to a local school in Belize where we can bond with students. Um, so that was my favorite part, I think. Um, but then we got to go to the zoo in Belize and we saw more monkeys, we saw rare jaguars, and we got to see a lot of colorful birds. Um, to finish up the trip, we got to go snorkeling in the Caribbean Sea with all kinds of fish surrounding us. Wow, that sounds like an adventure. The Lesher Adventure Club is offering some neat educational opportunities. Let me tell you about our new opportunity. Next spring break, we're going to Peru and South America. Whoa, Peru, that sounds amazing. Uh, I did some research for that upcoming trip um, and I learned about the cool events that we've got planned. Um, so it sounds like our group is gonna fly to the capital city of Lima and jump right into Peru's rich culture. Uh, we'll visit a historic monastery and an art museum before touring a famous shopping district. Then our group will travel to the sacred valley of the Incas, uh, and that's in Cusco, where we're going to learn about traditional Peruvian pottery and weaving techniques. Ooh. Next, we'll navigate ancient archaeological sites of the Inca Empire. We even get to climb to the top of Machu Picchu. Really, Machu Picchu? I've heard that the views from the Andes Mountains are out of this world. Um, but you know, I'm really looking forward to checking out the alpacas and the llamas. Wow, that sounds awesome. My favorite part of next year's Peru trip mm -hmm. is the service project. Yep. We are, will work closely with local Peru residents to gain insight into the challenges they face and build lasting solutions to improve their community. We'll spend two days working in a local village on a project that will support economic st sustainability, local agriculture, and access to education. That is so cool. So our students have the opportunity to experience the world that we learn about in our classrooms. Um, we get to practice speaking Spanish in Peru while surrounding ourselves with Peru's rich culture and history. Um, but Mrs. Jennings, who's eligible to go on this spring break trip next year? Um, and how can students learn more? Um, this is open to current sixth and seventh grade students. Um, students that have to complete a short application. Um, if you are a sixth or seventh grade student, you should come and talk to Miss Dinkins or myself. Um, she's in room eight and I'm in room 20. Yep, and we've got the short applications to hand out to you. Um, and then we also have an informational parent meeting on Thursday night, um, April 19th at seven o'clock in the Lesher Viking Performing Arts Center. So, alpaca your bags and we'll see you in Peru. I finally made it to South America, and now I'm enjoying Peru and all these amazing places that I'm able to go to. I cannot believe that we are here. I'm probably gonna come back with thousands of photos, and I'm gonna edit them all, and I'm still gonna have thousands of photos, so I'm not gonna delete any, because they're all so incredible. I met everybody, and I feel very, very comfortable, and that's something that doesn't come easily. <laughs> We're in a eucalyptus forest, and we just partook in an amazing Incan ritual. When we pulled around this corner, we saw Machu Picchu in the distance, and it took my breath away. We're walking where the Incans walk. They touch these stones. I literally, like, lost my stomach for a second. The fact that it's one of the seven wonders of the world, it's just crazy. Their culture is just so, so rich. Ranging from the Andes Mountains to Machu Picchu to the coast. How was I so incredibly fortunate that I was able to come and travel to somewhere like this?
Come to the dance tonight from there, 6 to 8. There will be dan- the dance, uh, a movie, pizza, twister, photo booth, and face painting. Post the finding new spokes baby. The Wedding Babies family gets a prize of $50,000 in scholarships. Hey everybody, I'm your school resource officer, and let's start over. Let's start over. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Backspace. 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 Eric, Libby, you can't talk about yourself in third person. Libby can't. So it was, a, it was a pretty great trip. Awesome. Wow, that sounds incredible. The Lecture Adventure Club is offering neat educational opportunities. Let me tell you <laughs> about our next spring break. I'm at. And go sports. Go, go sports. sports. <laughs> Julia's like shaking over here. I was like, oh. she's like, I'm, I'm going to be in the bloopers. Let's go. Go sports. Go sports.